So you're in the market for some new sports sunglasses, but you don't know where to start. Well, stick around. I have some recommendations. Hello and welcome on my glass. Tyler, I want to talk to you about our top picks for men's sports sunglasses of 2021. Uh, let's let's just talk about some common features before I get into this. I want to talk about each one of these frames individually, what they have to offer, what you can expect out of them, and ideally whether or not they're right for you. Uh, but so that I don't have to repeat myself, let's talk about some common features. Well, most of these are RXable. They can take a prescription. Uh, really just one exception, I think, here can't actually be done in prescription. They are all semi-rimless. Well, actually, one of these is fully rimless. Uh, they all have grip on the nose, on the temples. They are all lightweight and durable and amazing for sport use. If by the end of this video I've done my job and you're ready to order, you know what you want, well, don't forget about Sporter X and also don't forget about our C better guarantee because with that, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them. Even if you get them in prescription, you can return them, exchange them. We will take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, we have opticians, trained, very friendly, very knowledgeable opticians who'd love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Let's talk about these frames. Let's start with Tofosi, the Vero. This is one of my favorites. Tofosi is a great brand for making sport optimal sport frames. Uh, they are also a really good price point option. If you're looking for something that gives you a little more of a budget price, this is a great go-to because they still make really good quality frames. This is obviously semi-rimless. It is also interchangeable. That means that you can swap lenses. That means that you can have multiple sets of lenses for maybe different light conditions or how about for different sports it is all available for you there and you'd only have to have the one chassis that's awesome the material on this frame is called Grillamid tr90 that is a really uh top quality frame material which is very durable very lightweight also very flexible and it maintains its shape even with some wear and tear it has some slight adjustability in the temple tip here not enough to hook it behind the ear but enough that really gives you more of that customized comfortable fit and then of course, like I mentioned, you have the grip on the nose. The grip here is a hydrophilic grip, which means that even as it gets wet, it actually grips better. There is also vented lenses in this one. Keep in mind, if you get them in prescription, they won't be vented. If that's a feature that matters to you, remember that if you need prescription. The SFW on this frame is 130 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. Next up, Maui. I love Maui. They are really top tier, amazing sunglasses, all polarized, all really top quality in both frame build and lens quality. This is the option that I was mentioning that is fully rimless. So especially when you get it in prescription, you even lose that back bar. Uh, and that is something to note. If you are looking to get these in prescription, maybe you even have them. There is actually a different model with the prescription version versus the non-prescription version. And that is really where it matters is that bar in the back that a non-prescription gives you a little more rigidity in the in the frame, uh, but is not there in the prescription version. And so that is something to keep in mind. And that makes it even more fully rimless and being fully rimless, crazy lightweight, amazing frame quality and flexibility, durability. This is one of those frames that you put on and you forget it's there because it is so low profile. It's so lightweight. It is made out of Grillamid. It is made out of just a, a frame material that's going to stand up to a lot of wear and tear, really and truly. The Maui Brilliant Lens is what I recommend if you're getting these in prescription. Why? Because it is more durable when it comes to drilling holes through the lenses, which is how they attach the frame to the lens. Uh, this is also going to come with Maui Gems Polarized Plus 2 technology, which is probably the best polarized lens tech on the market. You do have grip. It's a little bit more minimal on the inside of the temple here. It's just kind of an embedded piece at the very end of the temple, uh, but it is textured. So it'll help that much more with grip and grip on the nose pad that is uh, slotted. It gives you a little more kind of, it helps to directionalize moisture to keep them on your face that much better, just that much better grip. The SFW on this frame comes in at 134 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. Next up, the ever popular Evergreen Flak 2.0 XL. We can't talk sport frames without talking about this frame. 
A uh, quick note when I say XL, that doesn't mean that the frame size is extra large. If anything, it stands for extended lens. I don't know if that's what it stands for, but that's a, a very elegant solution I have come up with uh, that you can help to understand better what that XL means. It just means that you have a little more lens height, a little more uh, lens real estate overall, a little bit better peripheral. This comes with a ton of grip in the temples and on the nose. It is interchangeable, so you can have multiple sets of lenses and just the one frame chassis. Thanks to Oakley's three-point fit system, this is almost guaranteed to fit you very well and stay on your face, especially thanks to that flexible frame material that they call O-Matter. Really, really good frame here, lightweight, durable. Prism lenses, by the way, are also available in prescription. The Prism Lens Tech, if you're unfamiliar with that, we have tons of videos, check them out, but they have some sport-specific Prism Lens options that could be the absolute perfect fit for your sport needs. The SFW on this frame comes in at 135 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. Next up, we have a new addition here. This is the Nike Show X3. This is following the Nike Show X2, which was always my go-to, really, really good all around. It still exists, by the way, so it still is a good go-to uh, just general all-around sport use frame. This guy is a little more aggressive. You can see a much larger lens here, especially in that lens height. This is a crazy big lens. So you get a ton of coverage on this guy. Uh, you also have a little bit of adjustability in the temple tip. Again, not a ton. It's not something that you could wrap behind the ear. I don't think you'd want to anyway, but it gives you a little more comfortable, uh, customizable fit there. Uh, and there is again, a little bit of texture in the grip in the temple here. Uh, to again help directionalize moisture to explain that a little bit better I've said that already uh, it, it'll just directionalize moisture so that it doesn't sit and it doesn't build up and it doesn't make them slip more so it helps to kind of push it away I, I don't want to say moisture wicking because I don't think that's appropriate but that's what I mean the bridge design it's this floating saddle style nose bridge uh, that I'm seeing on a lot of their newer frame styles especially their sport frame styles and it's good. It's a it's a good design. It's a good concept. In practice, I do want to mention that you need to be careful with your bridge fit on this. If you've ever had issues with bridge fit that you've found that they're not perfect on your nose or that you've had to fuss with it and that it's been a pain point for you, keep that in mind because this isn't adjustable. It can be a little bit rigid. Uh, it's a little bit thinner uh, and, and it, it's not perfect for every nose bridge. So keep that in mind if you're liking this frame. Uh, it's a it's a great design and it can be very comfortable. This one I will say is a little wider than the other models that I've seen with this bridge design, uh, but still it's a little more rigid. But the idea behind it is that it's more vented so it helps to uh, minimize fogging. It helps to make it less fog prone, uh, especially as you sweat and it gets hot. It's something that can happen. The other thing while we're talking about fogging is the venting in the top of this frame. That's a unique feature you don't see a lot uh, in the brow pad, brow area of this frame. You have those vent holes. Again, that's gonna help to encourage circulation to minimize the opportunity for fogging. Do keep in mind, while this is available in prescription, if you have even a, a kind of a mid-range prescription strength-wise, those vents might be covered up as the lens gets a little thicker. So if you like that feature, keep that in mind. The SFW on this is 135 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. Next up, we have the Rudy Project Ride On. I love this frame. Amazing for all around sport use. Also amazing for prescription. I'll get into that in just a moment. Again, another semi-rimless option. You have a blend of frame materials here with a good nylon frame front, so lightweight, durable, but then you have a, a low profile temple with a metal material that's gonna give you a little more durability, uh, a little more strength and a little more longevity, I would say. Another thing to keep an eye out for that grip in the temple is fully adjustable. That is pretty wild. So if you do want a wrap behind the ear, you actually can achieve that Thanks to the adjustability on this temple. There is, of course, also grip in the nose pad. The thing that I really want to mention is that the nose pads are adjustable. That's amazing. None of these other frames have offered that, unfortunately. I think that's a really good feature. And so if you've ever had, like I mentioned, issues with bridge fit, do keep an eye out for this one because you can fully adjust these nose pads to get the perfect bridge fit. Also, while we're talking about the bridge, it is replaceable. So in my opinion, that means that this frame can offer you that much more longevity. 
Uh, not everything has a replaceable nose piece, especially considering that's the part that is always going to be in contact with your face when you're wearing them. It can be the first thing to break down. And so it is replaceable. You can keep that frame, just replace the nose piece. That's a cool feature. Uh, it is a nice wide lens. It is a really large real estate, overall lens real estate. When I'm talking about prescription, generally that is a scary thing to say because it means that you don't have as much RX ability because the lens is larger. Well, they have a fantastic solution at Rudy Project and they call it their RX Dock. It essentially is an adapter that fits into this frame the same way that the lens does and that holds your prescription and it can accommodate even a wide, strong range of prescriptions, which is very impressive. Also, before I talk about sizing, if I end up saying that this is what sounds like too large for you, this is also available in a slim fit. So keep an eye out for that. The SFW on this guy is 138 millimeters, which lands you at a large fit. Next up, we have the Oakley Radar EV Path. This is getting into that shield design. So a lot of people really like that full shield continuous lens just because of how much coverage it offers and how much protection. It is a really good design and this is a great frame if that's the aesthetic that you're looking for. Again, the grip on this is amazing and you're getting that O matter frame material. You're getting that unobtainium grip material that again is hydrophilic, grips better as you sweat and a really nice saddle style nose bridge on this. I really like this nose bridge because of how much material there is. That grip material is making more contact across your bridge, which does help to disperse the weight and make it a little more comfortable, but also it grips a little better because there's more contact. There's less likely to slip. This is a gigantic lens. It does have venting. It is still RXable. Presently, it is something that you have to contact us to get prescription. And I do want to make sure that you know what to expect with this because to maintain this shield lens and still be able to accommodate prescriptions, what they have to do is what they call an embedded prescription, a sport shield implant is what they say specifically, which essentially is they cut out holes in the shield and then the shield kind of becomes a frame. And that's what holds the lenses in place. And so functionally, it's fantastic. Uh, cosmetically, it's something that some people aren't expecting. So do be aware of that. Really, really solid frame here. Also available, at least in non-prescription, the Prism technology. And there are many, like I mentioned, sport-specific Prism lens options. Check them out for sure. The SFW on this frame is 140 millimeters, which lands you at a large fit. And last but not least, we have 100%. 100% makes some fantastic frames. They started, they have a lot of history in goggles, in motocross goggles specifically, and they make great goggles. They also make fantastic sunglasses. This is the only option on this table that is not available in prescription. I want to get that out of the way at, at the forefront of this, uh, but still an amazing frame. You get that shield design, uh, probably the largest lens on this table huge amount of lens and a lot of coverage, a lot of wrap, really, really solid frame design. Again, you do have a really good frame uh, material on this. It's a little more rigid, but then again, that means it's going to be a little more durable. And then you do have another saddle style nose bridge here, which I absolutely love both for the dispersion of weight and the comfort, but also for that grip, really, really solid design here. And you also have venting in the lenses then in the, in the bottom of the lens here, which is designed to help to encourage airflow and minimize fogging. When it comes to lenses, though not available in prescription, like I mentioned, still some amazing lens options. Their hyper tint technology is incredible. Definitely check that out. They also have some good lens treatments like their Hydroilo, get it? Oilo, which is to help minimize oil and fogging and dirt and dust. Really good lens options here, really solid frame. And if you're looking for coverage and you don't need prescription, boom, Speedcraft is fantastic. I love this frame, I love 100%, definitely check them out. With an SFW of 141, this is the largest on this table and it still lands you at a men's large. That wraps it up for our top picks for sports sunglasses for men for the year. I hope that you found one that you like. If not, I hope that you have a better idea as to what to look for. By the way, do not forget if you're ready to order about our See Better Guarantee. I really think it's an amazing program that allows you to shop with zero stress 
because we want to make sure that you're happy with what you get. That's all that matters to us. And again, our opticians would love to help you get it right the first time. Reach out to us. Use this as a resource. We love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because it helps us. You can find relevant videos over here and we also have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there too because I think you'd enjoy it. I think you would like it and you can find us at SportRx.